Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add Stripe payments to your website. So first off create an API that will return the um, checkout session. So that's what I'm going to do first. If you're building a more complex website then you might want to um, also be able to build that um, the cart and stuff like that but for the purposes of my website it's pretty simple I just want people to be able to support me so I've only got one item that people can buy and that's um, going to be hard coded into the checkout session so I want to return an action result and the reason for that is um, I want to be able to redirect people to a success or cancellation URL when they submit the form. So this is me adding the action result return type. And renaming my API endpoint to create checkout session. Now I want to remove this code, it's not relevant here. And I've actually forgotten to add the Stripe API, so I'll go and do that now. Uh, the Stripe NuGet package. this first package here so if you add that and wait for it to install you can start building your checkout session in a real website this wouldn't be hard coded but for this proof of concept and just to try out using um, Stripe, I think it's fine. This isn't a tidy code month, it's just a working code month. Exploring new things. I've been switching between my Mac and Windows keyboard a lot, so my typing is not the best. So first you want to create the um, checkout session options. And that option, line items, is the items that the user is going to be checking out. So I'm hard coding mine to a support us payment, which is set at $5. I'll show you that later, configured in Stripe. So yeah, I only want one line item. So the price will um, be a unique identifier that's configured in um, Stripe and I'll go and get that for you later and quantity can be whatever you want but what it would match whatever the user was checking out in your application but mine will just be one because it's just a one-off support. You can actually also do subscriptions um, using Stripe which is quite cool.
And I want to um, accept card payments, but nothing else. Then you can supply a success URL, so that's where it will redirect to if the payment was successful. And a cancel URL, which is if if it wasn't successful, if the user exited out. So this is basically was all done by Stripe and it just gets my connection through to Stripe and here I am redirecting to um, whatever URL based on uh, whether the user was successful in making a payment or not. Cool, so I'm going to show you my product now. It's support tripwire set at $5. There's my product ID and the price ID is what I want. So if I add that to the price, then when I go to check out, it'll link it to my um, product that I just showed you. Still new at navigating about here looking for my API key so that's why I've been a bit slow. It's over on the left hand side so I'll go click on that now. That reminds me that I actually haven't configured my um, API key. You do that in the startup.cs. in the configure method. Cool, so now that's done, I can start it up and 
Oh, actually, now I need to add the um, UI so that I can check out. It's going to be a very simple page with just a checkout button. It doesn't need to be fancy for the purposes of this. If you're doing a real website, obviously it would look a lot better. Well, ideally it would. <laughs> Just adding the route. So I'm just going to change what's in this component. It's going to be pretty basic. Like I said, just a button to check out. And call my um, checkout API. So I'll create a form where the action calls my API. So I'll create a form where the action calls my API. And I want it to be a post. My B key's a bit broken, so sometimes it can take me a couple of times to get there. Cool, so now that we've got everything, we could pretty much go and run this. And once it's run, we can go to the Support Us page. And you'll see our beautiful button. So when I check out... So I think what this error is, because I couldn't quite remember the name of my API, is that I didn't put the right API name in. I put... Um, slash stripe, but I think it should be in slash checkout API. But I can check that by going to Swagger, just check my um, API documentation. 
and make sure I'm providing the correct endpoint. So yeah, it is checkout API, so I need to change this. Cool, and now I've got that, I can run again. If I go to support us again and click the button, hopefully this time it will take us to the Stripe payment. Yeah, so it's taken us to checking out on Stripe. You can see my product support Tripwire with its price of $5. Enter my information. And I click pay and it's successful. So you can see it's redirected me to success, but I don't actually have a route for that. So I'm going to go create one. So I want two new routes, one for success and one for cancel. I'm going to fast forward for this because it's not particularly exciting. It's basically going to be a message on screen. I will go and update my success URL and cancel URL to not have .html at the end of them. And now I'm ready to build. So now my application's running again. And I'll go to support us again. Go to check out. Enter my information. It gives me this option to enter a code that's sent to my phone number to authenticate. So into my details again. And this time it will redirect me to a success page. And if the payment, um, if the user cancels the payment by hitting the back here, because they're struggling with the form for whatever reason, then um, it will show us the cancel page. I'll just show this now. All this code's on my GitHub page, so just have a look there. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today. I did. Have fun having a play of something new as always. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I click back and it shows me the cancel message. Thanks everyone.